How's it going, everybody? And as I continue to meet the neighbors in Hoodsport, I find myself now with John and Catherine at YSS Dive. How are you guys doing? We're doing great. great. Thank great. you. Thanks for uh, letting me talk with you a little bit about a cool event that's upcoming in May. It's kind of an expo for you guys, but also it's an opportunity to be out in the water and dive and clean up some of the debris that's out there. Is that right? That's correct. Yeah. All right. Tell me a little bit more about this. Sure. So on May 6th, with our expo, we have a bunch of scuba vendors and local vendors that come. So you can talk to people about recycling. You can see some of the organic skincare that's out there and some of the green preen that's going to be out there for the neoprene. Um, and then also, because we're divers and we're avid divers for the community, we want to make sure that we're protecting our underwater world. And so the Port of Hood Sport is a protected site for YSS Dive. We apply to Patty's Adopt the Blue, and so it's a protected site for us. Um, and it's a site that we've adopted. And over the course of the years of us owning YSS Dive, we've done continued cleanups. Um, and this year we have a proud sponsor with Seiko and Patty Aware Foundation for our underwater cleanup. That's awesome. And I know that Seiko gets kind of involved in this across the country and the world really, but this is one of the first times that they're coming here to the Northwest. Yeah, and that's really cool to have um, a large manufacturer like that come and, and really see what the jewel of uh, Washington State and, and Hood Canal here. So it'll be really fun. So talk to me a little bit about how far out into the water you're going to be diving, the debris you find, and then let's just imagine if everybody were able to clean up the debris on the ground. I mean, that's a lot out there. So that's one thing as divers is we feel, you know, divers as a community are ambassadors to the underwater world. And, and we're really the ones that see what's down there where sometimes people, they don't see it. So it's out of, out of mind, but so there's, a, yeah. it's, think. yeah. And things fall in, things blow in from the road. I mean, there's debris that's in there that just needs cleanup in general. So, but yeah, there's all kinds of debris from derelict crab pots and nets to, um, you know, we found car batteries last year. There's there's different things that definitely need to come wow. come out of the water. Gloves, so. gloves and shoes and chairs and tents, uh, sleeping bags. We find all sorts of unique things, um, but things that shouldn't be in the underwater world. There right. is some that gets down there that ends up to where animals can use them as artificial reefs. And so we're really aware of that. Like we don't remove bottles. Bottles are actually homes for baby octopus. They love it. It's a great protection oh for them. Gosh. So we leave those. But yeah, all the other bottles, stuff we remove. Sure. Yep. And glass bottles a lot of times will have those uh, hard surface will have life and things on there so it's very difficult to remove that life correctly and then bring the bottles and stuff in and since they're solid glass they're they're actually not as bad for the environment as things like the plastic bottles and the tires and some of the other things that we will definitely be bringing up on May 6th. And you mentioned it's kind of an expo thing here and it's not just for divers. You want non-divers to come here as well and, and learn more about this. 100%. So the divers bring the debris up, but we need people that are on land for us to be able to sort it. With YSSA, we focus a lot on what we can recycle that we brought out from the ocean. And you, it's amazing how much when the debris that gets brought up and we weigh it and we've sorted it, more than half of it usually can be taken and recycled and then replenished and reused, um, especially like the aluminum. That's a closed loop, recy closed loop recycling process, um, whereas like plastic is not, paper is not, things like that. Yeah. Um, and so we need non-divers to help us sort it and put it into the different piles so that we can record it. And then again, going back to our Adopt the Blue with the Port of Hoodsport, we can make sure that we record accurately what we're pulling out from underneath there. One of the great things with the Patty Aware Foundation is we actually record how much debris is either recyclable or derelict nets and different things, usually as a weight format, um, and that really is recorded throughout the world and how much debris divers doing these diving against debris are bringing out of the oceans and helping protect our, our environment. So it's really neat to, to see how much we can get out and and in the weight format so yeah you're going to have an opportunity to come see this on may 6th here at yss dive in hoodsport we'll put the links to the address and everything it's a great shop great folks john and Catherine here they not only uh, care about the community obviously but they care about the dive the dive culture and extending that as long as they can you can come get lessons learn how to dive fill up your tanks all sorts of things here at YSS Dive. Thank you so much. Thank you. Awesome, thanks.